All right, back here in Detroit, chances are you have picked up a lip gloss or some kind of makeup item from the Lip Bar. Cosmetics Company is based here in Detroit, and they're getting ready to move to a new flagship store on Woodward. Right now, they have a tiny shop front that is actually behind the Shinola Hotel in the alley there. Uh, the founder, Melissa Butler, gained a national profile when she went on Shark Tank, and she was turned down. No one supported her idea for a beauty company. Well, she really showed them and turned it into a multi-million dollar company. You can find her products in Target and in Walmart. I sat down and I talked with Melissa for my streaming series, A Conversation With, about the second stage of entrepreneurship. I'm not a makeup artist. I didn't start the lip bar being a makeup artist. I'm really like the self-esteem person. I'm not the makeup person. I want people to, at the end of the day, wake up, look in the mirror and say, my reflection is good enough. When we think about entrepreneurs and growing business and you made it, it's not over. Yeah, I can put it in quotes, but you know what? I think that's the interesting part that sometimes the next chapter or the next mountain can be almost more difficult than the initial climb. Would you agree with that? One of the most defeating parts of entrepreneurship is that when you start, you're naive, you're bright eyed and bushy tail, and you know nothing. Right, but also, true. you have nothing to lose. So as you grow, and you know, we've gotten lots of positive press, lots of people know about our growth, right. now we actually have a lot to lose. Now it's like, I, I have to be careful. And when you are careful, oftentimes you are a little less creative. So it sounds like um, being an early entrepreneur is like being in your 20s, and now, yes. you're, now you're in your 40s. Now you are saying, well, I've got a house and kids, and I have to make sure that my decisions are deliberate in a different way. Is that leaning into fear? Absolutely, it's leaning into fear. Fear of losing it. Fear of not stacking up in the way that everyone who has been rooting on for you, you know, Am I going to disappoint my customers? Am I going to disappoint the people who have been rooting for me? You have a lot of people who are watching you and you have, as you talked about, other entrepreneurs looking up to you saying, oh my gosh, Melissa's got all the answers. She did it. She made it. <laughs> I want to do the same thing that she did. Is that ever heavy for you to be, what, the gold star, the example? No, it's, it's not heavy for me because I know that I've given myself permission to get things wrong. I know that things are not always Wait, that's right. hard because not a lot of people want to do that, <laughs> especially reaching a certain position of power and of growth and saying, oh my gosh, by admitting that it's okay to get things wrong, mm -hmm. how do we find that mentality? I think you fail enough to say life goes on. So after you fall, you have two choices. You're either going to get back up or you're going to lay there and cry about it. Should we say yes all the time? No, absolutely not. No. Oh, thank goodness. No. I mean, we it feels like more. more. <laughs> no more. I mean, it feels like the, that lean in moment, though, that lean in always implies that you must say yes, yeah. must say yes. No. We should so say, say no. no more often than yes, actually. You have women all over the world using your products. You have very famous women using your products, too. You have to tell me, like, what's the craziest thing when you open? You're like, oh, Michelle Obama is enjoying my makeup? I mean, what has been <laughs> some of the things that have just made you jump up and down? Probably Michelle Obama, her <laughs> team so. reaching out. Yeah. Jill Biden was in this very store with her granddaughter and they were shopping. It makes me really grateful yeah. for all of the people who have supported me. Like the Lip Bar is absolutely a community-based business. People out there want to see me win. And I think it's because they want to see themselves win.